from the meet and greet. And us get up and meet other people today. That's great.
can uh, thank his call for being here this morning. We will put uh, some uh, offering plates at the door to give them a love offering as uh, you contribute as they go out. We're so thankful that they're able to be here today. And we've been thinking and praying for them for a long time. But God is able. Amen? Amen. As I was thinking about today and, and uh, I've kept in contact with uh, or Facebook with Renate and what all she's gone through. God was speaking to me today and he said, you need to do something special here today. I'm going to read some scripture verses, Exodus the 15th chapter, verse 26. He said, if you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. Those last words, for I am the Lord who heals you. Do you believe that this morning? Amen. I truly believe it because he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And days past, we know by the record that he healed in days past. Now, not only a physical healing, but mental and situational and all sorts of healing. And he loves healing. And he, we have healing at our disposal many times. Maybe we don't say, here I am, heal me. Heal that situation. We have to be available to him. Sometimes we let, oh, well, whatever. But my friends, God is speaking to us today and saying, are you ready for that healing? Are you ready for that situation to be changed? Are you ready for that physical presence to come down and to touch me? He wants to heal today. He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our King. He is our healer. Say that, folks. He is our healer. My friends, Miracles still are happening today. Well, some of you believe it. Some of you are looking at it. Miracles still are happening today. And God wants to give us miracles today. As the years that I've pastored here, I have seen miracle upon miracle upon miracle happen. And sometimes we get so accustomed to God giving us so much that we don't take and think that's a miracle. But God has given us many miracles and I look around this congregation today and I know God has, has done miracles in your life. I've seen it. I know you. There's miracles that he's done. And guess what? He doesn't want to stop giving miracles. He wants a miracle for you today. And then the days ahead. He is still happening. If we go to Exodus, Exodus, the 23rd chapter, verse 25. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. And then it says, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but then it says, I will take away sickness from among you. Amen. Woo! Amen. Did he lie? No. He's never lied. He's never broken a promise to any of us ever. Have we let him down? Yes. But he's still the miracle making God. He still wants to do many things in our lives. If we go to James, the fourth chapter, verse 15. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. My friends, today, God wants to do His will in our lives. Now, there's many that need a healing touch, and we're going to pray for that, those that need healing touch. There's some within the sound of my voice, many within the sound of my voice, that need some healing, physically. And God is, I mean, all through the Scripture, He healed physically. There are many here that may be down and discouraged, you know, that's a healing that God can give you too to lift your spirits up. There are many of you that go through circumstances. It might be financial. It might be jobs. It might be all sorts of things. It might be addiction of some sort. 
God has a healing today for you to. I believe that God wants to do marvelous things for us today. Yes. Are you believing that? Yes. You see, we have not because a lot of times we ask not. Right. Many times we think, oh, it's he'll probably touch somebody else, but I won't bother him. Right. God's speaking to each of us individually. He wants to do something in my life. He wants to do something in your life today. Yeah. He has a healing. It might be a baggage. Anybody think about baggage? You know, growing up through situations, a lot of times we lift up our baggage and we carry it. Sometimes oh, we take it to the altar, but we pick it back up as we go and then we keep on going, oh, I like the weight of that. I have enough weight. I don't need any more weight. <laughs> God has something for us today. That first verse again. He is our healer. For I am the Lord who heals you. Do you want to be healed today? You know, I've seen situations upon situations and, and God just bubbles up in me. And I think, oh, God has something for us. And we turn our back. Because we don't want to give ourselves to Him. This morning, God wants us to say, here I am. I want that healing. No matter what it is. It might be a situation. God cares. God. If He cares for that sparrow. And I lived on a farm and, you know, we had a bridge over in my grandpa's place. And there were those dirty sparrows underneath that bridge. Yuck. But you know... God cares for us so much more than that. He loved us so much He went to Calvary for you and I. And if He would go and give His life for you and I, He wants to give us that healing today. I, we're not going to take much time, but God has prompted me to bring up this is anoint. And I am going to ask uh, Sharon to go up and play and I want you to examine your life. Do you need a healing? Maybe it's a situation. God cares. It might be physical. God cares. This morning, He's asking us to take that step across the line and say, I believe. I have faith. Sometimes we don't take that step of faith. I've said that a lot at the family altar. Sometimes we just sit back and, oh, watch everybody else. Oh, they can go up. But if you really truly believe God has a healing for you, you'll take that step. If, he, if there's a situation in your life that you want change, there's that step of faith. Are you ready to let God come down and encircle you with His love? Oh, He says it, it be His will. But even in His will, there is healing. Are you going through something today? God wants to give you the peace that passes all understanding. He wants you to give, to give you that healing. It's available. He didn't say, you owe, you owe, maybe you. He says, come. I have something for you. This morning, I got a telephone call from Steve Knox. He's, he and his wife came up and surprised us all last night at the gospel singing. Good friend from Texas. They were going to be here this morning. So excited. And uh, Steve called and said that they got a hold of them and they're headed back to Texas. That uh, she's they're going to take her to the doctor tomorrow counts and everything aren't right. They're going to see an oncologist, I believe, tomorrow. And he said, would you pray? He said, Steve, we're going to have a praying service today. And Chrissy, he wanted, I said, I anoint someone. He asked that you would be anointed for Barbara. Do you believe in healing today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe we don't get it because yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Do you believe in healing today? Yes. God wants to have some healing in your life, in the life of your family, in the life of your friends, in the situation.
situations you're going through.
Father, who I call you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, you know all that she's going through, and Lord, I just pray that you will open heaven's gates. Lord, I pray that you will send the peace to her that she needs. Lord, you know the situations, and Lord, we don't even have to tell you because you know all about them. So, Lord, we just commit her to you. Lord, we pray for Ed, and Lord, we just know that you're able. Lord, we pray for everyone involved. Lord, and we pray for a healing for each one, Lord. We just pray that little Jean will continue to get better. Lord, we pray for Ed, and Lord, we just pray for each and every situation. Lord, have your way, and Lord, we're just going to praise you in my name. John, do you believe God heals? Do you he's been with you? Look at me. <laughs> you know what? God has something special for you. Precious Father, anoint Sean in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, the doctors don't know. Lord, we have a scare, but Lord, we're going to believe that everything is fine. Lord, we're going to pray that through this, that there'll be something great happen. Lord, we believe that with everything bad, that it's a scary thing you can just touch in a marvelous way, a mighty way, and that you can just send it down a, a victory in many ways. So, Lord, we pray for this consultation, and Lord, we pray that you'll be with the doctor, but Lord, we, we know the great healer, and that's you, that you've already been there. So, Lord, just have your way, and Lord, we just commit him to you in thy name. <coughs> You're still believing? No. You've been in a lot of pain, you've been going through a lot. But we believe that God is still going to heal. He's going to give you that that you need today. Lord, I now tonight, Martha, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that you will sit down your <coughs> You know this pain that she's been in and, and the energy that's been gone. But Lord, you can zap it back. Lord, I pray that the pain will be gone. And Lord, that she will feel like herself again. Lord, we lift her up to you. And Lord, we just pray that you will be with her in a very special way. Oh, Lord, we believe it. So, Lord, we just pray that you will touch her. Lord, we give you praise already for that touching. Your daughter has gone through chemo and everything. And we're going to pray why we pray for that for your eyes. Lord, I anoint Carolyn in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for her daughter, Mindy. Lord, would you go and be with her? And Lord, I pray that Mindy will keep her eyes on you. Lord, I pray that you will just reach down and touch her, and, and not only physically, but Lord, may your name be glorified. Lord, we just pray that you'll go with her. And then, Lord, we pray for Carolyn's eyes. It's been a bad we, we pray, Lord, we know that you're still working on the situation. Lord, we just commit her to you, and Lord, just ask that you just send down your healing power upon her eyes, and Lord. Lord, we know that in all things are possible, and Lord, we're believing that today. In thy most precious name,
pray that he will come to know you. And then, Lord, we pray for financial situations, Lord, all over this second nation. We know that there's people that need that, that situation, those finances. And, Lord, you have the cattle on a thousand hills. So, Lord, we just commit it to you, Lord. You care for every situation, Lord. We just give you praise in thy name.
pray that you will send down that healing power. Be with her family, Lord. Be with the situations, Lord. Pray for finances and all, Lord. The whole gamut you care about. And so, Lord, we pray that healing down upon her. Lord, just commit it to you and all the situations going on. And, Lord, we know you're able. So, Lord, we claim victory this morning in thy name. Amen.
and I will have to stand before him someday, and if I don't do what he says he tells me to do, I will have to answer. We'll all have to answer if we don't obey him. May God send his miracles down upon each of us today. May he flood us with his presence. The greatest miracle of all is presence in our lives. May we don't take that for granted. May we draw closer to him because that is the greatest thing that we can do. Because he says, I am your God. If we draw ourselves to him, he has answers for us. Would you stand and let's close in prayer this morning.